as we come to worship our God, let us give thanks as we remember his most precious gift to each one of us and that he sent his only son to be the saviour of the world. I begin by using some words from Psalm 135. Praise the Lord, you his servants who stand in the Lord's house. Praise him because he is good. Sing praises to his name because he is kind. We are his chosen ones. We know that the Lord is great, greater than all other gods. He does whatever he wishes in heaven and on earth, in the seas and in the depths below because of his loving kindness. Lord, you will always be proclaimed as God. All generations will remember you. You will defend your church and take pity on your servants. Praise the Lord, all you children of the Most High God, for he is worthy of praise. His love is eternal. Amen. And now, I ask you to imagine that you are staying in Bethlehem with Joseph, Mary and baby Jesus. You hear some voices outside asking where a newborn baby may be found and something about there being a star above where the baby lies, which they seem to have followed for many months. You hear a lot of excitement out in the street, as it seems they are rich, important noblemen from another country. They come into the room and offer gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And you watch the shock on Mary and Joseph's face as the, the wise men present their lavish gifts. And you start to ponder what you can bring to God and how you fall so far short of what you could give to him, the child Messiah. And this forms the basis of our prayer as we come, as we come before the Lord Christ today. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Saviour and our King, we come before you now with hands that are not clean, with hearts that are not pure. We have done and said those things which do not glorify you or honour you. We have failed to be all you wanted us to be in this last week, and our hearts are sad because we have let you down. We have not brought gifts to you as the wise men did. We have not loved you, and we have not loved others as you desire. Instead, we have thought more about ourselves and what you can do for us. We may have been fearful and anxious and disappointed because of all the events around the pandemic this Christmas. We ask your forgiveness, Lord, and we know that the saviour of this world has died so that we, we might receive this forgiveness and cleansing from our sins. Lord, by your grace, we would also ask that you would lead and guide us into, a, uh, into understanding how best we can serve you in the coming week ahead. We love you and are so thankful that you do not treat us as we deserve, but give us new mercies every morning. Stay by our side, Lord, and may your presence and blessing go with us wherever we may go. Amen. <laughs> 